Hello, everybody. Once again, this is uh, Professor Tijerina. Thank you guys for joining us at COSC 1315 class. Uh, this is week two, the week two lecture, and we're going to go ahead and continue um, with our syllabus. And according to our syllabus, we're going to go ahead and go to chapter eight. The reason for that is there's several, several chapters in between that jump into CSS and JavaScript. And I believe we're not ready just yet to leave our HTML tags and uh, uh, what we call attributes now, which we will be working. These attributes are what you call your colors, your images, your multimedia, stuff that describes the web page and the elements themselves, too. So these additional tags, we're going to go ahead and go into further, further. Uh, further development here to try to make uh, different changes to ordinary fonts uh, or ordinary uh, nor ordinary elements. By what I mean from, by that is that uh, when you add colors to fonts, when you add colors to uh, the elements in the background, uh, for instance, the header titles, the body tags, uh, the footer tags, then it becomes a little bit more colorful right <laughs> so like for lack of a better word yes we're going to introduce color into our our web pages so this chapter a talks about how we can use our opening tags and calls um, something called attributes adding to attributes to that so going down i'm not going to just read the book uh, in its entirety but it should give you just a brief description of what you should start seeing once you start implementing the code such as attributes um, down here you'll see let me do something real quick let me click on plus plus control plus plus there you go I should have done that in the first place but yes it's good that we do it now that way you can get a good quick look um, if you guys are gonna follow along to your to, on your uh, on your books and on your reading materials you should be able to uh, tweaking colors I just went a little too far there yes I went a little too far apologies for that but once again thank you guys for uh, for being patient there we go well we have a listing here of what we would expect um, I believe what we're using here in this code I can see something called color so we're adding color to something um, here it this is not gonna be any stranger this is gonna be something new to you guys if not already something called an HTML color code so for these little strange uh, numerations or in this case a uh, alphabet the, um, these are regarding to what color and this is really simple you guys can kind of navigate and start choosing any color of the pa palette by simply looking up HTML color picker and there you'll see what I'm talking about here you'll uh, be able to quickly identify any code in the spectrum by using what we call the hex code and this uh, the these uh, numerations they um, they follow a particular scale in the brightness and darkness black and white and of course the tints um, going from the spectrum of, of one of the whole rainbow um, needless to say so yes you can use color picker to um, identify and create your very own colors so for instance I'm going out and traversing with my color picker anywhere in the uh, rainbow and I start getting new values for that these values are what we're gonna you'll be able to plug in to your attributes and your attributes will reflect in your front end of the code so yes we're talking about how we incorporate color so we can incorporate color in the background this particular code here states that we should be able to have background inside our our uh, a green green a green colored table so in the in the book you're, you'll be reading about uh, in chapter 9 and chapter 8 about tables table rows table data <coughs> Uh, read carefully if you still have questions about uh, what these tags are uh, or how they are, are, are arranged I strongly suggest you using w3 schools this is uh, your buddy for the rest of the semester uh, this is really very this is really breaks it down to 
anything and everything you want to do in HTML. So we're going back to attributes, right? So we hit attributes here. You should be able to uh, get some samples. And of course, these are mostly plug and play, or in this case, are in, in, in the world of code is copy paste. <laughs> so uh, and then you, you'll have access to on W3 schools to actual code that you can uh, plug and play into your very, very own uh, document or your in, each index HTML. Okay, so in apologies once again, running the the the, um, the camera on my computer makes it run a little slower than usual. So we're gonna go ahead and continue as we were reading on the in the in the book, chapter eight and chapter nine. We'll still talk about uh, some tags. Of course, you have any questions. Ultimately, then you can go ahead and refer them to me on by email or in the discussion. I've been pretty good about uh, uh, replying to messages on the discussion and on the messenger through uh, Blackboard. I have actually no issues so uh, replying. You know, um, not after hours, of course, but they, uh, normal daylight hours. I'd be able to to help you guys. Uh, and additionally, you'll see here on chapter the end of chapter eight, incorporating images. This I don't really necessarily uh, ask you guys to do so, but in any case, you need to uh, resize an image. It's not absolutely necessary. You can actually get any picture in uh, the web, um, you know, like copy paste kind of thing, and or download an image, or you have pictures of your own you want to upload. That's absolutely not a problem at all. Uh, within your code, there is an attribute to be able to resize it and display it at a particular size or, or in a position within the web page. And I'll teach you how to do that. It's not an issue. Or at least I'll direct you to, to where you can come across the information to be able to manipulate those images within the uh, within the web page. The reason I say that is because in an upcoming lecture, I will discuss uh, what I'm going to require. And I'll show you once again in a little bit of a detail more uh, what I'm asking for. It should be fairly simple. Um, you know, of course, once again, working with attributes and working with those that color palette that I was talking about, um, I believe it should not give you much of a headache. Uh, if, in fact, you come to the color picker and ins insert like let's say you wanted to have the color for for pink, so I ask, "Hey Google, what is a HTML color picker for pink?" And of course, it'll give you um, an, an option here to select the actual hex code for the color. So there's no limit and bounds to what you can do as far as attributes and adding colors to fonts, to backgrounds, to any other element in, in within the web page is, you know, um, it's, 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 this comes into play. Like I said, this is another tool to your uh, creativity to be able to create eye catching uh, websites. So once again, uh, you have any questions, any issues, if you still having issues, downloading uh, coffee, coffee cup and, um, um, you can give me a call. I'm sorry. You can give me an email, uh, or once again, you can uh, advise any of the tech lab technicians or ED, which is um, educational technologist, to be able to assist you with that. Um, once again, uh, I haven't had any issues downloading the software, or if additionally you wish to use your very own HTML editor, you know, uh, just be careful with those extensions to create your pages. Soon enough, we're going to be uh, adding pages for the CSS. And this was the editor, downloading the free editor. And we don't need to pay for anything. We'll just do the, 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 the free version. That's not a problem at all. So um, we're going to go ahead on the next video, we'll talk about the actual assignment. Um, if, OK, once again, um, going back to the, the um, assignment and or quizzes we'll be having the quizzes will be related to the information within 
uh, within these two chapters. I'm not too big on looking for you guys to to hand in um, exercises from the book. I'll be taking elements from here, and I'll be taking um, information, and I'll be creating my own little quizzes. Once again, they're not too in depth, but I do want you guys to to be informed. Once again, we're talking about uh, terminology. We're talking about the techniques and uh, some of the basic codes, which is your, basically your tags here. Be familiar with those um, and know how and where to use them. Or again, more more famously, how to look for them on on Google. Um, once again, yes, yeah, stay tuned for the next video, uh, which we're gonna we'll, we'll be discussing our lab for this week.